In this episode, ah, uh, when en- when energy flows among flowers, we are all everywhere. Mm. I, I, I am here, and not here. I um, love flowers. Thank you for coming back from our replay reviews. My name is Leah, and my name is Kathy. We are two friends who are here to replay, review, and analyze your favorite video games. And since Kathy has never seen the games before, it helps me view them through her fresh eyes almost like I'm discovering them again for the first time. We hope it'll be a similar experience for you. In scene one, basically, it's just Wei helping Peggy with wedding tasks. So Wei goes to the Golden Koi to talk to Mrs. Chu, and this is when she asks him to give Peggy a ride. So we meet... When's his mom? And at the end of that conversation, she's just complaining about they're like someone bring the chicken or something like that. And wouldn't it be hilarious if there's like the full circle where they're actually stuffing special K into the chicken and therefore there's a shortage of chicken and that's why she's not getting any chicken to cut up and to serve? <laughs> you mean the- <laughs> they're putting special K in, in chicken breasts and transporting them or like live chickens? To, to transport them, sorry. Like, drug okay. mealing yeah, them, yeah. but it's, like, drug chickening them. Like, the whole chicken, they're, like, shoving packets of special Yeah, yeah, but, them. like, a, a cutlet or a, a live chicken? A, a whole chicken before it's cut up. Is it That's alive? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting recording, isn't it? Yeah. Started off on that. It is afternoon recording. We haven't done those in a while. It's true. We have Way with Peggy just driving to grab flower arrangements and everything. It's, but, like, why are we having a conversation about who he's dated and, like, him dating a whitey? This is... <laughs> I'm not saying that. He's saying that. Yeah, I felt a little personally attacked by the whitey comment because he was specifically talking about blonde women. I know. <laughs> That's such a weird conversation to be had. And I never heard of, like, talking about black orchids guaranteeing a couple to stay married like i didn't know that was a thing she says the orchids are so important because they ensure that they'll be together for the rest of their lives interesting at some point winston texts away and says that apparently dog eyes is stealing their cake (laughs) but then we catch up to the cake delivery van and it's just a random woman driving it, and she's pretty convincing thinking that it's her cake. So I don't know if Dog Eyes just sort of messed with things and she really thinks it's her cake. But if that's the case, why is she driving so fast? She is going nuts. She's pretending to be like that cake is hers, probably because she's paid to say that and she's very engrossed in her character of stealing Sultan's cake. But it also (laughs) doesn't help the Asian female driver stereotype that if that truly is her cake and she's driving like that. I mean, she was doing good. She was just going fast. (laughs) But to continue, she says, you'll have to pry it out of my cold, dead fingers. And so in response, I think Wei shoves her out of the van. Is that what you saw? I don't know if he shoves her or she willingly leaves in a very (laughs) um, rushed manner. So they get the cake. And then after that, they're trying to find these elusive black orchids. And this is where Wei talks nonsense to all the monks and eventually gets to the orchids. And to me, they seem very clearly purple and not black. They are purple. There's even some pink in there. Are we sure he took the right orchid? I'm going to say maybe not based on what happens in the next scene. He's colorblind. He doesn't know. Kathy. What? I don't know if you noticed at the very end of this scene, the boob physics are back. Why are they... <laughs> Why is she walking like that, too? We saw it first in Wolf Among Us. They're back. Probably inspired by that. We just can't escape it. <sighs> Unfortunately. <laughs> but kind of going... <laughs> but going back to their conversation, though, at this point watching it, I'm like, it's kind of cute that Wei is going to have a sister again, all this talk about family. But I'm also... Mm-hmm pretty concerned because with this so much like you are a brother now i am your sister he is your brother kind of conversation it's just going to make betrayal so much harder on way when because ultimately he still is a cop he still has a duty to fulfill 
So he's mm-hmm. going to have to betray them. And it's going to hurt him so much because he's pretty emotionally invested at this point. It might be that we have to decide whether to continue being a cop and arrest Winston or betray him. Yeah, it's getting a lot murkier. It's Peggy and Winston's wedding day. And Uncle Poe arrives making Mrs. Chu blush, giving her some compliments. He's probably been without a woman too long. And so he's just <laughs> flirting everyone with every female. All age. <laughs> I couldn't tell if he was just being charming or if he was actually interested. But speaking of Uncle Poe, Winston asks Way to grab a case of alcohol from his car that he got for Uncle Poe. And as Wei is at the car, he hears screams and runs to find that the catering staff are attacking. Surprise, surprise. Wei fights his way to Winston to find him with a dead Peggy. And Winston, clinging to life, asks Wei to get her out of there because she doesn't deserve this. But it seems like he dies at the end of this exchange. But at least they were together for the rest of their lives. Just like she hopes. Right? <laughs> I, I'm like, are you kidding me? That's what I wrote in my notes. But I kind of was <laughs> right-ish. I feel like they either survive together or they die. They had to do that so they don't put way through more grief. But he's the one that got the black orchids. Yeah. Which ensure that they're together for the rest of their lives. So is it his fault? A little bit. That is true. They died together. <laughs> so this is our first mother mother respecter debate situation, correct? Like, yes. do we have a confirmed death on him though? We get we get it confirmed okay. pretty quickly. I mean, first of all, Peggy, mother respecter. We didn't see her long, but mm-hmm. she was pretty cool. I feel like she and Way had yeah. good chemistry. She was loyal. She wanted to be with Winston for the rest of their lives. <laughs> However short it may be. (laughs) I think the only bad thing she did was encouraging Wei to steal from the temple. We're agreed then, Mother Respecter, for Peggy. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. What about Winston? So, I can't remember what we did for Mafia. Did we say that, like, we ignored the fact that they're all, like, triad members and, like, Mafia members? Like, I feel like if if that's where your baseline is, everyone's going to end up being a mother Right. Um, So kind of ignoring that fact, I want to clarify that we're going to ignore the fact that they are with the triad. It's hard to say that he's a mother because he shows like obvious signs of loyalty to Wei, treats him Mm -hmm. and like welcomes him to the fold relatively quickly. It sounds like he's a good son, listens to his mom uh, when he had the relationship issues with Peggy. So I think for that type of personality traits that we've seen, I feel feel like it's going to be a mother respecter yeah i would agree i think his his downfall is just his anger but that's something that Mm -hmm. he struggles to control and even when he gets out of line people like his mom peggy way give him advice and he tends to listen to it so i feel like he doesn't do anything that outright would make him a mother and everything that he did was Mm -hmm. in retaliation to dog eyes, so yeah. I think we can count him as a mother respecter. I would agree. So more gunfire causes way to, to spring back into action. And first of all, we see Uncle Poe take a bullet, but he keeps going, so he's good. And Way's running after him, shooting his way to try to get to him. At some point in the fight scene, like you were jumping off the wall like we doing parkour. Oh my or gosh. Uh, I don't know if it's just when you're holding a weapon. Or not, but when you hit a wall, instead of like mm-hmm. going around it or just not moving, it it just does this little. It catches you in an animation of him trying to climb up the wall. So like, if you hit a wall at all, it's so annoying. Uh-huh. <laughs> you have to very specifically go around things. I'm pretty sure at this point, one of your stats has to be headshots. Like I don't know, or just tell me no, because like I think all the. <laughs> The metrics that we're counting, it might be similar to Mafia, but I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I should start counting headshots. <laughs> so <laughs> this is why I didn't tell you what it's going to be. Wei does eventually catch up to Uncle Poe and escorts him to the hospital through more gunfire. 
I don't know if you noticed, I, I focused on it a lot in the gameplay, but at 27 minutes, this dead guy is just like <laughs> I know. convulsing on the ground. It's yeah. so funny. I think it like the things you do last time, there was like a fire and you were just standing next to the guy who was on flames and in flames. I, and I can explain. He didn't do anything. I was trying okay. to pick up ammo. <laughs> Uh, and the ammo was in the fire. I had to make a choice. <laughs> and the choice was to try to get the ammo. <laughs> but I think I missed the first time. I know. <laughs> so I had to go back. <laughs> and it was like, you weren't even trying to help him. You were just standing and watching him burn. Yeah. Although this time, give me credit. There's a time, I don't think we're there yet. But I reverse a car so smoothly. I left that in the gameplay just so that you would see it. I did know that you're driving, like when you're making those 90 degree turns, they were pretty, pretty smooth. And then as I'm like writing that comment down, then you're doing that, that cake chase and then you're like, oh, okay, I should take that back. But when you're the not doing chase. anything wild, you are you are just doing a smooth drive. So uh, <laughs> driving skills has improved. But anyways, back to you saving Uncle Poe. I feel like that for sure is going to win points with the triads because Uncle Poe did have some like suspicion with him before. But now that he saved him, Uncle Poe's going to be like, he went out of his way. He could have just left me to die, but he didn't. After all of this, Raymond summons Wei again. And it sounds like Winston is officially dead. And then what's with the mm -hmm. exchange between these two about Raymond being late? Wei's like, you're late. Because it's risky for him to be there. And Raymond's like, traffic mm -hmm. was bad. It's Hong Kong. And I'm just curious why it's important to have this detail in the game. Is it because traffic isn't really why he was late? Like, why? What's the importance of this exchange? It's similar to how Pendrew beat him there. Mm -hmm. Of him being late. I, I don't know if he has to, like, report to Pendrew before. Like, he meets up with Wei get some instruction and that's why he's late mm -hmm. because he could just be waiting in the spot waiting for way but i feel like he needs to do take care of some other stuff ahead of time so maybe we'll see more as they have more interactions he always comes off as a very calm person like oh very casually dismisses way like he's gaslighting mm -hmm. him at some point and then raymond's response to way's anger around peggy's death is kind of absurd he's like we knew you'd become personally attached. But I feel like anybody could see that her death was wrong. Mm -hmm. What does that mean he's personally attached just because he's mad an innocent woman was gunned down at her wedding? Kind of going back to my earlier point, I was saying that how I think that Raymond was once in Wei's position and he was very emotionally invested as well. And that's why he wishes someone, he had a handler that told him to like pull back that you're mm -hmm. doing your job that comes first over these people, ultimately they're thugs. And he didn't have that. He probably got his heart broken or something. I don't know. But because of that experience, maybe Raymond is then being the person he wished he had, trying to ho hope that way isn't going to go off the rails and put his promotion at stake. Yeah. I mean, he can see that way is really upset. So I think that's probably where he's coming from. But my question is more, why does being mad that an innocent woman is dead equal personally attached? Because I think everyone would agree that that's awful. And I think Raymond's still not fully on board with Wei being in this position. And then Wei says, it's war now. And Raymond responds, no, it's not. You're a cop, all right? He's reminding him that he is a cop, but... Wei is acting like he's one of the tribe members and it's mm -hmm. going to get worse as he goes up higher in that hierarchy because he's going to feel personally responsible for things when he's not he's ultimate cop and at the end mm -hmm. the whole point is trying to take everything down and maybe when Wei gets so caught up he's going to forget that he's a cop so I, it's just Raymond trying to remind him agreed I feel like this exchange is where he should have said we knew you'd become personally attached because saying it's war is a lot more intense than, again, being mad that someone innocent was murdered. But then he continues to say, your job was to get close to Winston. And Wei says, open your eyes, I am Winston now. 
Raymond's response is, that's what worries me, Way. You're one of them. You maybe kind of said it, but both of them are right. Like, Way is doing his job well, but mm-hmm. a little too well. They're both on the same team, but they just don't really know it, that they're trying to... One is taking care of the people in the triad and those that don't deserve to die, but somehow are still Mm -hmm. associated with the triad. And then you also have Raymond, who's trying to do protect the people in the city for the greater good. And they're both fighting similar agendas, but at the same time, not. There's a small overlap and Mm -hmm. you just can't seem to find that area where the people come first, but it's which people I don't know how I just made this connection, <laughs> but oh. maybe the reason that Way is so upset at this point because of Peggy's death is because of his sister. Because mm. when he's helping Peggy with all this stuff, they talk about being family now. And maybe even oh. he even says something about, if I'm your brother, the least I can do is help with your wedding. Maybe oh. that's why he's so upset is this is another innocent woman murdered because of the triad he's reliving his sister's death again yeah we know his mom isn't there right and so it's like all the women in his life keep dying it's making a lot more sense to me now why he's so upset but then they end their little rendezvous and nightmares continue to plague way while he sleeps and one of the quotes we hear him relive is winston saying if anything happens take care of our people so something has happened now. Does Wei feel an extra sense of duty to the triad at this point? Yeah, because he is Winston now. He has to be the person to take care of everyone. Moving on to scene three, Wei works with Tang again to take down Hotshot. Hotshot runs Ace off the road, and Wei was supposed to catch him in the act, but unfortunately arrives a little bit too late to find Ace's girlfriend next to a wrecked car. And the the glitch at 32 minutes, it's so uncomfortable. I'm going to watch it again. He's just walking in a slow circle right in front of her. (laughs) I tried to help him. And he's just walking in a circle. I I just think that this scene is a little bit funny. Because she's sitting there describing almost dying and watching her boyfriend get annihilated by a steering wheel. Next to a car that's just fully engulfed in flames. And all Way says is, you'll be all right. He's probably just emotionally detached from everything he just experienced the night before. (laughs) You can do better, Way. So now that Ace is dead, they're kind of desperate to find another way to take Hotshot down. So Way challenges him to a race. And Tang sets a trap. Way's supposed to disable his car at the barricade. And... The physics of the ram. Look at 3440. It's like the car just punches the other car. (laughs) Then the motorcycle. The motorcycle. Maybe that's one of your stats. How many innocent people you just... (laughs) To be fair, someone hit him into me. That one was not on me. (laughs) Uh, sure. (laughs) Look at it again. Okay. I feel like you didn't... You, You ran into him. Oh, I'm thinking of a different one. I'm thinking of a different one. How did it happen more than once? Wait, hold on. I want to keep watching. Oh my god! Okay, that second one, you it wasn't on you, but that first yeah, one, yeah. definitely on you. The second... <laughs> the second one, this guy just turns into a volleyball. <laughs> oh gosh, that poor dude. Anyway, they arrest Hotshot. Anything else in scene three? Nope. I feel like we don't know Ace enough to do a mother or mother respecter, so we're just gonna leave it be. We don't care about Ace. Or his girlfriend. No, clearly not. Hang in there. In scene four, Wei checks in on Mrs. Chu, who asks him to bring her whoever is responsible for the wedding attack. Uh, I'm sure you noticed, but Wei turns off the bug he planted when he goes to see her. I'm curious what your reaction is to that. Well, he did get a slap on the wrist for being too personally invested. And this really isn't part of his duties as a undercover police officer. So I can see this is the personally invested in him demonstrating, which then also sets a precedent that 
if he can mm-hmm. turn it on and off so easily by himself, like for whatever he wants using his own judgment, it's going to go way wrong. And are they not going to notice the sections of missing data? I feel like they would. I'm more worried about him earning too much trust and then someone finding out there's a bug and then he has to throw someone else under the bus. I mean, he's already gotten one person killed (laughs) with his deflections. Mm -hmm. What's one more? Right. So Wei finds a man that he saw at the wedding attack, Johnny the Ratface. Wei calls Ricky and lies to him in order to get Johnny's number. And he eventually finds him and delivers him to Mrs. Chu. I'm convinced there has to be some kind of stat on how many times Wade just, like, flies out the car just to hijack another car. This is, like, what, the fourth time we've seen it? It won't be the last. (laughs) Okay. Anyways, keep going. So Mrs. Chu does a little bit of questioning. And Johnny says that he doesn't know who was behind the attack. So Mrs. Chu just goes right on ahead and uh, gives him the cleaver. What a way to go. She's just so good with using the cleaver. <laughs> she is good with the cleaver. And I I, I wonder where she's going to start chopping at first. <laughs> Anyways, also, what's with the leather jacket? Like, where did that come from? Ways. His outfit change. Yeah. I bought, I bought him some more clothes. Oh. He also has a new car. <laughs> I know. It's so funny that you're like, I bought him some new clothes. <laughs> well, the stupid orange sweats. I can't. I can't. Yeah. And I feel like when he levels up in the gang, like, he needs new clothes. He needs new clothes for his new role. You're so considerate. <laughs> um, anything else on this scene? I just have one more note. I do, too. Uh, um, based on how Wei just ignores the ladies at his apartment, like, when he walks out the door, he most <laughs> certainly did not tell them that he's missing a flower pot. I know. I don't think it's this scene, but later on, he accidentally shoulder checks one of them. (laughs) Did you purposely do that? They're always there. I did not do it on purpose. Okay. (laughs) They need to get a life, though. Quit gossiping in the hallway about Wei's flower Mm -hmm. pot and your perm haircuts. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Watch them be spies for dog eyes. That's why they're always there. Getting back to Mrs. Chu in this situation, I don't know about you, but Waif doing this kind of feels like he's crossing the line as an undercover cop. I do hope mm-hmm. that the bug is still turned off at this point, too, because yeah. he literally just delivered somebody to get murdered. What if he never turned the bug back on? Either way, he's crossing a line. Yeah, that's true. All right, final scene. We deal with some internal triad chaos that erupts in the wake of the... I have had these pants for a long time, and I just found a, a hidden zipper pocket. How did you not know? Is it on the other side, too? It's only on one side. I don't know, because I put my hands in my pockets a lot. I love pockets. Anyway, um... Internal triad chaos erupts <laughs> in the wake of the wedding tragedy. The guys are debating who's responsible for the attack. They think it's 18K, but Wei isn't so sure. And I kind of have to agree with him because one of my questions was why would dog eyes want Poe dead? Do you have any thoughts? Just to cause more chaos. It feels like a shot where if you take it, you don't miss. Like you can't miss that shot. Mm-hmm. So it seems risky. Would dog eyes take a risk that big? I don't know. No, I don't think he's smart enough. Yeah. Kill him. During this discussion, somebody sent by Big Smiley, another Red Pull, informs Way that you may continue your operations in this area, but the percentage previously paid to Winston will now go to Mr. Lee. Way responds with a threat, saying if they stay out, they get to live. And of course, a shootout erupts out of all of this. But did you have any notes on this exchange? Not really, but I am curious. Do you think Wei would have shot Mr. Lee's messenger because, like, he forgot who he is? It's pretty darn heated. I don't think so, just because I think Wei is really smart, even from a triad standpoint. And I think he knows murdering him outright isn't the best approach. But I think he wanted to. 
And the guy's name is Ponytail. Sorry. Yeah, I had Ponytail in my notes, and I was like, is that actually his name or just what I'm calling him? But <laughs> it is Ponytail. And Wei has to chase him down. Eventually, the police interrupt, and he has to escape them. And thankfully finds a friendly limo. And it turns out Mrs. Jang came to his rescue. So she tells Wei about their situation. Basically, if Po lives, the two of them are all good. But if he dies, the 18K could take over. She says that they would need to quickly appoint a new chairman to prevent that from happening. And she is suggesting herself. She cannot take on Lee alone. And this is why she wants Wei's help. And she thinks that they could have a mutually beneficial partnership. I like her. I like, she's like a class act, classy. And of Mm -hmm. course, it is a woman who does not think with her reproductive parts and her (laughs) emotions. Like, she's thinking quite logically. And she seems to be very smart with business. And she's unafraid to ask for alliances. I'm looking forward to getting to know her some more. But what I'm curious Mm -hmm. is what if she's also an undercover cop and she somehow has that cop intuition and knows that way is also undercover and they're like partnering it to like com- like actually take down the triads like wouldn't that be awesome if she was a cop it would be cool it would be very interesting but i agree with you she's very patient she has good timing she knows when to make her move and she has a good handle on the situation and she recognizes way's importance too It seems like she's just been sitting in the background kind of watching everything. Kind of like Sarah from Yakuza. Well, that's all I had. Any other notes on this section of gameplay or this episode in general? Nope, but when you just talked about Sarah, made me think about Nishiki and I got really upset again. (laughs) I went a whole year without being upset and it just came back to me. (laughs) Oops. Well, now you'll get to see it in live action when the Yakuza series comes out. Right? We'll watch it on the plane. Well, we need to do a plane cast. A plane (laughs) podcast. We're going to get kicked off the plane for being loud. (laughs) They're just going to open the door and throw us out. Oh, the door's going to open by itself. They don't even open it. (laughs) Knock on wood. (laughs) <laughs> All right. Anything else? Or should we close it out? Let's close it out. All right. Audacity on one, three, two, one. Thank you for listening. And don't forget to send in any questions, comments, or game suggestions. You can find all our contact info on our website, replayreviewspod.com, or contact us directly through our site. Did we completely miss something? Are we way off the mark? Or you just want us to take a deeper look at anything from the game? We'll tackle any topics you all want to hear in our season wrap up episode. We also have a Reddit where we discuss anything we're curious about. Go take a look and let us know what you're thinking. Our theme music is Condemned by Eggy Toast. They'll play you out and we'll be back next week.